Hi, my name is Jonathan Dewan, Director of Product Management for Nuvon Systems. In this video, we will show you how to use your EVD40 power tester to identify any weak modules within your battery pack. I will also demonstrate how to properly connect the voltage reading harness and cables to your pack. This video is not intended to replace full training on the instrument. For your safety, all operators must be properly trained by a Nuvon instructor. The EVD40 is intended to power test modules post reconditioning. After assembling a set of modules, whether it's 28 modules for Toyota Prius or 34 for Toyota Camry, you should run a power test or load test with the EVD40. Please watch the EVC30 instructional video to learn how to use our Packlore software to choose a balanced set of modules. Since the power test requires high voltage and high current, please use all required safety equipment, such as insulating gloves and safety glasses. The first part to connect is the EVD40 voltage reading harness. Make sure that the harness is disconnected from the EVD40 before placing onto the battery. Because the insulating gloves make it difficult to hold small parts, we recommend that somebody help you when connecting the EVD40 harness. This harness can accommodate up to a 40 module pack. This Toyota Prius model year starts with a positive terminal on the left, which lines up properly with the harness. Some battery packs start with a negative terminal on the left and will require inverting the harness to connect. Please refer to the manual for instructions and pictures on that configuration. We include special spinning washer nuts and insulating strips, which will prevent wear and tear on your harness. We will place the side labeled high voltage onto the terminals first, fasten nuts onto the ends and finger tighten the nuts to hold in place. Then use the medium torque setting on your drill to attach the rest of the nuts. Repeat on the other side of the battery pack. At this point, you can plug in the harnesses to the front panel. Now we will attach the high voltage leads. The red cable is positive and the black cable is negative. They will both go on one side of the harness only. Refer to the markings on the boards and always double check your connections. You can now turn on the EVD40 and connect to the laptop. Make sure that the charging power supply here is off. So on the laptop, we want to open up the EVD software. Make sure that you select the correct COM port that you're plugged into. In this case, we're at COM3 and hit connect. We will then select the number of channels. It's 28 because this is a Toyota Prius pack. Select 28 and click on select end channels. We will then click single read to make sure that all of the voltages appear on the left. We will then change the discharge time to 30 seconds. I recommend a few runs of 30 seconds uh, for a full power test. Now we can click run discharge. and our modules are being subjected to a 35 amp discharge. As you can see, all of the voltages are staying not only high, but pretty well balanced. And this is gonna run for 30 seconds. In order to see this a little better, I'm going to turn off the current, uh, dashed current line over on the right. And you can see that all of these voltages are pretty well balanced and tightly grouped together. If there's any bad modules, you'll see a line drop significantly lower than six volts and deviate from the rest of the group. In this case, I recommend running a couple discharges in order to identify any weak modules. Any weak modules should be replaced with a module from your inventory with similar specs, um, and then you can run the power test again. Now we will begin the charging step. So we want to click on discharge, which will turn it to charge, and then click on the green button to make it cell enabled. 
Now we will go to the front panel of the instrument in order to start the charging process. On the front panel, turn on the charger. Select the desired voltage cutoff and current. Press output on to start. You will see the voltage rise until it reaches the cutoff. At this point, you can press the output button again and turn off the charger and DVD. Your pack is now ready for vehicle installation. Thanks for choosing Nuvant Systems, an A3 global company. For more information, visit nuvant.com.